so yeah we did this last time whoopsie uh, not good but hey that's that's emotion for you very powerful stuff uh, yeah so we're going to continue on with life is strange before the storm um, by doing episode 2 so if you haven't already um, I'd recommend watching what well, recommend watching life is strange first um, it's up on my youtube channel which you can find below in the about um, and also episode 1 will be going up on youtube tonight if you're watching this live uh, if you're not watching it live then it sh probably should be up by now because uh, I will be uploading it after the stream uh, so yeah I hope we can find out some more stuff about Rachel and Chloe's relationship and I've heard this is going to be a fun episode for me so <laughs> that's promising but we are going to continue where we left off and I'm sure it'll give us a little recap of what happened in episode one so let's go previously on life is strange before the storm I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. And that woman She's a strong, strong definitely not my mom. I mean, hey, let's not jump to conclusions. Maybe there's, you know. Drug use, sabotage, bullying. Burp. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then we're just sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. was violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. Sure did. Didn't spend all the plane, did I did school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Are you asking, or is that rhetorical? Disrespectfulness. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did. In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. The hell I was. 
I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's himself. one interpretation of events. I mean, you could literally ask Samantha. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. Let's reassure our mom. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? Chloe, now is not the time. <laughs> and yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. This is Rich being a good actor. Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? <laughs> yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I, I think it's better to play along. Otherwise Chloe, you just both get in trouble. Is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss mm -hmm. Price. Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or oh trick God. her? Yes, I'm sure. Oh, thank God. Mrs. Price, this revelation may color the situation some, but it in no way absolves your daughter. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. Yeah, well, you kind of smell, so. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our <laughs> trust. Well, then, you will no say? longer be my Jesus administrative Christ. assistant, first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. Oh. Uh. But the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Gosh, she's Ray, got to she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes. I'm sure Victoria Chase Ugh. will do fine. That is such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. I don't really want to take the blame, but 
I do want her to be on stage, so no I'm going to No way that. is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Okay, listen to your opponent and choose a related comeback. I don't think we've messed this up yet, but I'm terrified for when we do. This, it's just basically having to deal with Kate all over again. Not having the chance to rewrite, rewrite your mistake, so... Let's go into this and pay attention and think about what you say. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe! <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. I'm doing it. How about you don't take credit for my shit? You don't see me claiming I did my homework, do you? Because <laughs> that's your stupid thing. Wow, how Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Fine. I shouldn't have pulled Rachel out of class. If I'd known she couldn't handle it, I would have gone there. it alone. Why speak up, Miss Price? Your words do not exonerate Rachel, but they do further implicate you. Why? To tell the truth, for once. Okay. Something that oh, happens so rarely around here. Everybody lies. I've heard enough. Rachel. You were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed mm. from the play. Was nice. that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now? You are expelled. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. Okay, I think that worked out how I wanted it to, I think. Hello, Corby. How are you doing? How's your day been? I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. Oh. I wanted to get back I didn't on get a chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Why he walks? Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. <sighs> hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. Fuck him. Bunch of fascists. <laughs> I like Skip. Hey, uh, just wanted to say it sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here.
Love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Oh, Love how that. every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's... Throw it in the bin. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Wonder who will grace this space after me. Hmm. Sign it. Oh, that's such a satisfying noise. <laughs> Almost cute. Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. Then he got run over by a car. Moral of the story, no one's ever really rescued. Mm. So we didn't see them have a cat, so. Du, 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 du. Having Justin as my locker neighbor was one of the few not shitty things about uh, this place. Which one's Justin? I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. I feel like her inner monologue just throws me off a little bit. Like Max's felt a bit more natural. Hmm. If Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100 miles per hour, how long? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't let your joke play out. I sometimes think they'll carry on talking afterwards. I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with <laughs> imagery. Sorry, I'm just checking. Following. There we go. Cool. What are we Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. Hmm. I mean, could you not keep it? No reason to throw it away, no? Okay. Ooh. Finally, what I actually came here for. Just that was such a dramatic zoom in on it. Feels like a great way to cut your fingers off. Jackpot. Wait, what the hell? Damn it, Justin. Oh, it's Justin the skateboard person. That's it, isn't it? Ah, oh, Justin. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me, uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Oh, dear. This is where she dies. It's funny. She left back Blackwell in this place, and she left the world in this place. Threat. 
a lot of quakes. Elf Barbarian. <laughs> oh, Victoria's face. Oh, dear. There's David. Hmm. Spoopy mask. Later, Skip. Later. <sighs> Looks like David's here. Awesome. A lot of hella. This day was worth it. Thank you. How bad the fire's gone. Active class D wildfire. Don't know what it goes up to. Well, maybe it's class A, but I don't know. It would be like a big bomb. Okay. To send the chem homework. Oh, bless Elliot, you should be doing that. What's at 11 pm? My wits end. James and Rose. Another letter to Max. That I'll never send. Can't even remember where we got up to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had to use my breaking ranging skills to get this viewfinder working. So I remember that. Oh, bless her. This, this this is so far just making me really sad for Chloe, this game. <laughs> Especially with the way it ended. It almost makes me wish that I didn't end the first game how I did. In a couple of ways actually. Yeah, I know how to walk. Wee. Max would have loved this shit. I wonder if uh, Mr. Jefferson's here yet. 
Three guesses whose bike this is, and they all start with Miss Grant. Damn, I guess I will miss one thing about this place. Wait, did you sacrifice Chloe? I did, because I was like, if that's how it's supposed to be, then I don't know how I Wells's car. go against it. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. I, uh... Yeah. And that makes me regret it even more, because... Taking pride in Blockwell, of course, means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. Hi, Elliot. Who's going to this? Piss head much? That has to be Skip's Oh, car. yeah, Skip. Okay, that makes sense. I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it. How could you? Yeah, I know. I, even at the time, I hated it, but I'm very much someone that believes in, you know, if 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 everything's been fucked up and time is going wrong and an event is supposed to have happened, then it needs to happen. Um, and, you know, I didn't want all the people to die, <laughs> you know, and like Chloe's mum was down there. Uh, friends as well. It was, it was tough. It was tough. I didn't like either option. Hey, Elliot. What's up, Elliot? What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I was expelled. Wait, really? Holy shit! I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Hmm. Do you want a hug? Uh, no thanks, buddy. Let's not make a big deal out of this. Oh, sorry. Right, yeah. Was Rachel Amber involved? Yeah. And let me guess, did she get off scot-free? Well, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you He's doing? He's not a fan of Rachel Amber, then. I would figured I'd see the Tempest anyway. I was going to text you, actually. I got two tickets in case you changed your mind. Oh, thanks. I mean, we'd get to see Rachel if we yeah? did it. Yeah? So you in? Might help you take your mind off things. Yeah, why not? Yes, I might as well. <laughs> Should see what I got myself expelled for. Sweet. Glad I got. Don't the extra read ticket. into this, Elliot. Don't read into it. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. <laughs> her boyfriend. Uh, don't worry about it. I could never see sacrifice Chloe. Him. I'm way too attracted to her. That's fair enough. Yeah. I, I was yeah. honestly, if I mean, if you watch the video, you will see I'm very indecisive about it. And there are a few moments like that where I just didn't, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. My other vehicle is drama. That'll be um, the teacher. I can't, I can't remember his name. Give me the D. At least I'll have a. Uh... Plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again. Wow, someone's just throwing away a whole skateboard. I feel like it. It's about damn time. David, please. All right, fine then. I'll watch the video after the stream. Uh, yeah, I mean, go for it if you want to, but yeah, no. I also, yeah. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. 
Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? There's nothing wrong with waiting tables, Mom. Chloe, I'm proud to wait tables because it means you can be whatever you want to be. But what is that, Chloe? What do you want? I don't know. Maybe... I don't know yet. Maybe you've had long enough to figure it out. No, that's a dumb thing. Right I've now, never what I need most of all to, is for yeah. the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? Chloe was incredibly out of line. She insulted me, swore at me. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. Oh. He, he needs to apologize too, though. So, hmm. Fuck. Sure. Reset button pressed. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you can't be serious. David and I have discussed it, and we feel this is the only way for us all to have a fresh start. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. <sighs> no, 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 no. Sure. Here you go. Show me a warrant, asshole. You watch too much television. Your refusal to comply is as good as an admission. Nope, it is not. I admit not. to That's you being a works. fascist, and I don't take orders from fascists. What happened to trust being a two-way street? That was before you were expelled. Somewhere along the way, we lost our trust. This is not the way to get it back. Not at all. It's okay. true. It's not That's how it? you get it back. She's basically admitted her guilt. And you're letting her off the hook? I am not letting her off the hook. I am trying to find a way for us to move on. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. Well, what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. Dun, dun, dun! No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering that's this ship. That's not what she said. Talk to me, Chloe. That's Tell not me what, what she you're said. feeling. I fucking hate people like that. You're trying. I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. 
In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. I, oh, I mean, he's acting like she didn't have a stable home before. That's not how that works, buddy. There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. Hmm. Hmm. I fucking hate David. This has made me hate David even more. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? I hate David so much, so to God. Yeah. He's a piece of shit. There's just, there's barely anything redeemable about him. I mean, kind of what he does at the end of the first game. But, like, anyone would do that, pretty much, so... That's Black not done something you should really be celebrated for. Go home anymore. I mean, he also struggled against, you know, he's a... Is this junkyard all I've got left? Army person, whatever, I don't know. But he struggled against Mr. Jefferson. So... I can't believe if they got this free baseball bat out of it. our uh, wreckage from yesterday. Oh. Brazilian bottle. And then this is her truck. I did wonder where she got it from because the point was her, it, she ended up paralyzed because her dad bought her a truck. But presumably that was Ugh. a different point. I mean, she knows about cars, she's proven that. Okay, the battery's fucked. That's fine. We can get a new battery. This thing is a mess, but maybe I can fix it. Oh yes, car building simulator. If this Sorry. beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Yep. Wonder if I can find one around here. Can we take mm, the bat with us? I think I'm all smashed out. Okay. For now. Get battery. Put it truck. Okay, we got another page here. Mm. Oh, yeah, Jay, he is a fascist. Like, as simple as that. Trying, it didn't help that you fused empty your pockets. I mean, little power trip. I think I need my daughter back. Well, it's not as simple as that, is it? Shoebox. That's not a battery. Wait, what? <laughs> that would look great in the car. I remember her having a bubble head in, in the car. No, 
Not going over there. Yeah. Okay. Boat. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll climb a boat. Hmm. Good jump. Oh, yeah. Grab, 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 grab. You're so weak, Chloe. Use your little wiggly arms. Spaghetti arms Damn. together. No? Okay. Cigarettes. Yeah, <laughs> that wasn't the issue. That would be your lungs. It's, it's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. Okay. Hmm. Oh. These magazines are so oh, wow. gross. <laughs> Who would look at this? <laughs> okay, I'm still looking, but it's only because I'm so fixated by how weird it is. Uh -huh, You're a uh -huh. long way from the country club, guy. Now this is a vortex club. I wouldn't mind joining. Communism, atheism, free love. Cool. Christmas lights. Yes, please. You gotta love a place where even Christmas looks depressing. Oh. Mm, battery. This rug has some miles on it. So, right, we're going to be making a house later, I'm sure of it. Well, that's from our smashing adventure. Glass looks way prettier when it's broken. Wonder oh. what else that's true Objectively. for. I think glass looks really cool when it's being blown. Bottles, bottles everywhere, and not one beer to drink. Does she wait until Max has got a final load while having some creepy dream about Mr. Jefferson? That bit terrified me. Ah, looks this pretty is fucked. no good. Yep. Yeah. I like that we're still wearing the top from before. I mean, it probably smells, but hey. Sorry, Max. I think I'm more jealous of you than anything. Hopefully, I'll be escaping this place soon, too. Oh, Chloe. I'm sorry. Okay, well, nothing over there. Let's go this way. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Well, things we do for love. Yada, yada, yada. Nothing that way, I don't think. School I bus. guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so awesome. <laughs> You're a long way from the beach. Don't tell me what to do. That's weird. She said that out loud. That wasn't her internal monologue. She was genuinely like, how dare you. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, oh, uh, I got yeah. David. Fuck everything. What do you call ones you keep snakes in? Vivarium, right? Here's a side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. Oh, this car looks pretty not fucked up. Let's have a look at it in a second. There's no point in investigating that one. That's also fucked. This Matt has seen some things. These, I'm pretty Mostly. sure a lot of these things end up in their little nook. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. Hmm. Police notice. Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride drug dealer. Really thought crime paid better. And they've ripped out the seats to check for drugs. <laughs> That's funny. Hello, burp. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? Show me a battery. Oh. 
<laughs> I wonder what we're supposed to do. <laughs> Pop the hood, as they say. Okay. Oh wow, fancy. In official battery. car speak, this is the thing that makes the other things do their things. Yep, that's good enough for me, Clay. I know nothing about cars. Here we go, the pick of the litter. Shame she can't just take this one. <laughs> Where have you put that? Where have you put that battery? Batteries are heavy. Anything over here? Oh, that's the shoebox. Okay, battery going in. Sounds good. Oh shit. <coughs> oh dear, sorry. Good. Looks good to me. Can we put our bubble head up? I don't know if I wish you could hear shit like that. Hmm, keys. Well, we've got a screwdriver, so it's time to hotwire it. I'd have thought they'd drain all the petrol from it. Damn. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Oh yeah, put that there. I'm pretty sure that's the symbol as in this action you will have consequences. Here, but I get to pick the tunes. Okay? Good talk. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Okay, well we know there's a map. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. Okay, well we can get the towel. It's just you and me, you tiny weirdo. Didn't mean to look at that. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put We've got in the here. light bulb on the vivarium. Okay, and we got a message from Rachel. Uh, oh, so far back, so far back. Okay. Chloe Price. I don't suck. Really, really don't. Grab something from home, then I'll meet you at the junkyard. See you really soon. You better. Okay. I'll see you soon then. Uh, cool. So, let's. Okay. Let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. Let's grab the stuff. We didn't read that sign. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows? This could cover that torn seat sure and could. look awesome doing it. Yep. Probably want to wash it though. No. I did see a washing machine, so with any luck. You might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. It's gonna be a lovely red light. <laughs> um, and then there was this map over. I uh, don't oh no. Can we use the place map? No, we can't use the place map. That makes sense. We can use the map that was around there, wasn't it? We have to run away around there. Exercise. Huh, 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 huh. Huh. Round here, round here, round here. There it is. Rock. Today, you begin an exciting new life as a floor mat. <laughs> Yeah. 
everyone's dream to be a floor mat in Chloe's car. Right, what well, priorities for us that needs doing? Probably need to actually fix it because you know that's not good. Just see a bit of a hole poking out. Uh, let's put. <laughs> let's fix this uh, by putting our towel here. Yeah, let's not bother trying to make that properly because that would be too much effort. Big towel. <laughs> uh, Hope my passengers enjoy the smell of sea salt and junk. Always nice to know you won't accidentally fall out into the road while driving. <laughs> Thought I something about the voice actress, like the way she delivers some lines, she sounds a bit kind of bored, and I'll, that makes sense for Chloe. But other ones, like she puts some really fun energy into this it. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Don't worry, I've got a good feeling. Still, how sweet would that be? <sighs> yeah? Frank, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Christ. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard. That's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And, Frank... I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general? Or to you? I'll see you soon. Mm Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Graffiti. You only get one chance to make a first expression. Mystical or frightening? I can't remember. I presumably would have seen it in the car. Beforehand. The eye sees all. Oh, Tell me if keys. we're ever really getting out of Arcadia Bay, all-seeing eye. Does your truck look like an aquarium on wheels? <laughs> Didn't think so. Bubble, bubble. Does Principal Wells eat pizza with a fork and knife? I knew there was something off about that guy. My parents eat pizza with a fork and knife. I mean, I do if I'm out at a restaurant, I guess, but... Honk, honk. <laughs> that sly smile. I mean, I don't condone smoking, but... Trying to reach out, I know I'll get there soon. There's a hole in the earth here, and we're walking. Oh, that's the fire there, damn. It's like crow again. Open wounds, I can express them better than you. You have buried childish qualities from make sense of me, friend. Make sense of me. I have many destructive qualities from make sense of me, friend. Make sense of me. 
and sleepy sleeps. I wonder if Frank or Rachel is going to bump into us first. Oh, we're going to have another dream. Hopefully it's not about our dad dying. Shit. I slept all day? N no. What the hell? Don't trust it. I believe the sign. Oh, sorry, I'm very yawning. What's up, Dad? Dad? Let's join in. Something weird about this tool. That stick looks very thick. It's a normal way of doing it. Make sure you pull it down, otherwise, it'll fall off the end. I wonder if it burned like this the day, the day it happened. Good, she pulled it down a little bit. That's what she did. The noises are slightly unsettling. I don't know if you can hear that, but... Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized, too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us, just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. Mm, creepy. A park it out, what did I miss? Um, we did up uh, Chloe's car. But sometimes... Which was fun. There's a greater beauty yet to come stars incredible fire is jealous chloe it wants all the beauty for itself that's why you need to be careful careful of what me <laughs> of getting burned okay Close enough. Oh no, we don't need to see that. Well, that's ruined our perfectly fun car um, doing up uh, session. Oh, that's Rachel then. Yeah, what's up, Rachel? It's not creepy at all, I know, right? <laughs> Only slightly. Tap her on the head. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. Haha, uh -huh. very funny, Rachel. I'm not sure you should put it out on the bottom of your car either. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. <laughs> Hop in. 
<laughs> Thanks. She's got a bag. We got in somewhere. Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. I found it like this. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? Pretty gay. A freaky red light? Holy shit. We all sing I. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. Mm. And no Blackwell. I wish that were the case. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. I guess we know who the better liar is. Well, or maybe my lie the was the one he wanted to Basically. believe. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. That's one way for it. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. Mm -hmm. But that's one way to describe the forest too. fire. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. This is not how therapy works, but okay. <laughs> well, Doc. Mm -hmm. David. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... He's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? I mean, step douche is he's, what we call uh, Step douche. Because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest step ladder? Why step ladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. <laughs> and pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. Oh what my the God, hell Rachel. kind of therapist are you? Yeah, go on now. Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. Mm, I'm sure. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Was it? Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? 
sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Her head's on her shoulder. Can we talk about something else? Mm-hmm. Of course. What about the truck? I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You're not like him. You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit. It's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. Right to like. How is telling someone good luck bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. That's dumb. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go Just on. I'm listening. You and me. Mm -hmm. Something criminal? No. Criminally fun? Yeah. <laughs> I'm in. Uh, what do you like to do? Bowling? We can go bowling. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. <laughs> the finger guns. I love it. I thought this is where we were going to set up Frank meeting Rachel. <laughs> Hello, Junk Shack. Junk Shack, baby, Junk Shack. Ugh, Junk Shack. I get pr proper roof on that. Clean it up a little bit. Spick and span. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. Oh God, it's gonna be dangerous. What's up, Mikey? I rolled a one against Wells, get it? <laughs> Steph says you're a nerd. Yeah, that's what we like. I mean, that's not where I'd put it, but you do you, Chloe. You do you. The tapestry, we love hanging a good tapestry. It's just folded up neatly here for us. Oh wow, that's stiff. <laughs> There's no flex in that. Elephant. I've never seen the elephant. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> this elephant fucking rules. <laughs> the cutting edge in junkyard security technology. Okay, let's have a look in the bag. It's just... Absolutely a bag full, full of, of clothes. Nachos. Oh, okay. Yes, I need those. I mean, she's giving you a hint there. You know, <laughs> Nothing could do like with a wash. an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Hmm. Got the raw shack skull. That's got a crow on it. Tower, tower, that's the tower falling down. So it's that or that. 
Both of these have got sinister meaning behind them. I'm going to go with uh, the Tarot Tower. Damn. I'm not feeling it. Is that like what? How is it in there already? What are you wearing at the moment? <laughs> You're still wearing a grey t shirt. How's that possible? Okay. I don't know where the jacket came from. Okay, this is much better. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, mm, yeah, it'll do. I'm at the junkyard now. Okay. Cool. Well, oh, we could hang a dartboard. Why not? Play some darts. Don't have any darts, but we got the board. There's no nail to hang it on that. Oh my lord. Chloe has magic powers. <laughs> Max can go back in time. Chloe can hang things on the wall when they've got no nail to hang up on them. Or hang them up on, I should say. A Zavi. So it was a Zavi we saw at the uh, thing. Not sure. Oh yeah, there's the uh, graffiti. Oh. That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. It is. She's got the butterfly on her arm. She's got quite a stern look Weird. about her. Yo, Weird that she came Frank. all the way here. It's Chloe. I wonder if she's some relation to Frank. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Hi, right. it is. Get your ass in here. Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that woman? Ah! Oh, God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Shouldn't, shouldn't stand out when driving. It's very dangerous. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? You're doing a lot of fetching. Fight the power. Betting slip. Twelve hundred dollars. Way out of my league. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. Just on the floor. <laughs> what does Frank really need? The yeah, TP milk. Fuck. Got it. So many beans. That's a beans addiction. That's an insane amount of beans. We saw him eating beans at the diner as well. <laughs> Bomb sauce for the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive-through order. Wait, Frank got a puppy. For real?
Marianne sounds like uh, a douchebag. Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. Why wouldn't Poppy eat steak? How large was Biggest Cloud in history? Holy shit. The mill burned down. Oh, the dogs died. That's fucked. Jeez. That's an expensive dog. Russian, just let me breed him later. I'm interested to see what happens with the road. It's driving a straight line forever. The house there. Uh, oh, so much stuff. I guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy of. Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about it. Damn. <laughs> His drug sense went off. Part of a balanced breakfast. What's in the Frigidaire? Frank I've got to go now and stimulate for me. That's right, Colby. Cool, cool. Thank you very much for coming by again. I hope you uh, have a good sleep. And I will see you soon. Doggo? Pompadou, are you in here? <laughs> hey there. It's okay, little guy. Oh shit! Pompadou, get up here! <laughs> Pompadou. Oh, you little killer. <laughs> It's going to be awesome. Like, awesome and bad, I mean. It's going to be hilarious. Okay, Elliot, stop. Okay. Yeah, you need to chill, Elliot. How did you get to online? You mean good news? I'm stoked. Me and Trev. Alright, Trev. Trevor? Who's Trevor? Do we know Trevor? I feel like I'm stupid mm. <sighs> okay that's not actual therapy though you know if you want to do proper therapy then you can go through the right avenues there's a difference you can just talk to your friends and work stuff out like that as well but He's made a right mess in here. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. I think it's called a switchblade, but wow. okay. That pillow is definitely dead. Because Frank finally gave up on the stake. Hmm. A throne fit kind of for <laughs> Frank. Frank and his BFF. I wonder if that's, that's da Damon. Adorable. Pardon me. That's probably the notebook Frank wants. 2010. Is, oh, it's that little chime sounds what I like think it is. Ugh, shit. I'm in the red. $175. Not as bad. There's Drew. $1,050. Stella, uh, could be the Stella we know. There's another Stella there. Stella getting a lot of stuff. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one 
badass name for a dog. It's French. <laughs> well, yeah. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? No. <laughs> okay. So, who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh, yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. I'm gonna demand an answer. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. No shit, Frank. You think I don't know about hiding things from other people? I'm a teenager. Come on, Price. I like I how he's still my clients. Beans. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Hey, so uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too. See, we're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Come on, Frank. This is Arcadia Bay. Gossip is all we have to keep us from hanging ourselves out I don't know. It always feels like there's probably a couple options that you can pick there. And only like one of them will be bad. I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh, Beans. How about that firehouse chili of hers? You got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. You shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks for telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No. But I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait. You have it? Yes. The thing is, we have that money, but he was like, oh, I don't really give a shit about that, so I'll say I'll get it to you later. Give me like another week. I don't have enough right now. I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your crap. I mean, that cash you stole at the mill should cover it, no? You saw that? It was ten feet away, dumbass. Well? Uh, if he saw, I don't want to, like, okay. hold up on him. Okay. If you were waiting on $175, your business must be shit. You're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's... Oh, holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. <laughs> Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with him? I mean, he's a dishbag. <laughs> He's an unreliable douchebag, 
No, this is the first time he's done this. The kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Was that it for me? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. I mean, that's 100 quid. What's the matter? 100 dollars, rather. It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. I mean, we're basically... We just had to hand over 175 of the $200 we got. So, it doesn't put us in a great position. Oof. Yes, the dorms. Remember it well. Didn't think I'd be back this soon. Things she never had like a room here. I don't know how it really works. Well, here goes nothing. The dorms over there. Quite concrete. That looks like an opportunity Better to graffiti. Into the dorms. Grab the stick. Grab the stick and walk in it. Ha 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 ha. Ah, see, I knew this was coming. I don't know how. Welcome to hell. Oh. Rachel. Oh shit, what's up? This is a lot. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. <sighs> yeah, getting paid to go there this time. Hey, Steph. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Calamastia. Your shirt looks like the tea leaves they used to tell people's fortunes. It's actually a Rorschach test. How is my test, future but, looking? You know. Bright and sunny. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Tricks on you, because I am the you ultimate You tricks on you. <laughs> Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. I'll stop being well, jelly, Steph. Yeah. So, what are you doing here? Uh, I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? Yeah, I know. It's not really my thing. Uh, <laughs> kind of hoping it's a shit show. What the hell? I'm the stage manager. Oh, I think I knew that. My bad. You better mean it. 
Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. Obviously, Rachel's fantastic, but everyone else is pretty impressive, too. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay, now you just unconvinced me. Mm -hmm. Why am I not surprised? Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey, I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh, I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... Mm. I'm not gonna lie to her. You think we're... together? It looks to me like you've got a thing for her and maybe she has a thing for you. And I wouldn't want to get in the way. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. It's... It's confusing. It is confusing. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. If you ever want to talk to me, Chloe, you know you can, right? Yeah. I'll see you later, Thanks, Steph. Steph. I like Have fun storming the castle. I do like Steph. Just... Ugh. <laughs> Interesting response. Is that Samuel? Wait, what? You're not Samuel. Where's Samuel? Samuel. Hello, Samuel. Samuel, 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 Samuel. Hey, Samuel. Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. Uh -huh. He sounds different as well. <laughs> what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? Rachel. What do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. That's, uh, deep. <laughs> Do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels? Or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? Hmm. So, uh, <laughs> what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants to see. <laughs> That's so weird. Okay. Uh -huh. Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. What do I want to keep hidden? What do I want people to see? Okay, and, that's more interesting. Uh, what, what do I want to keep hidden? That you are lonely and afraid. Dot, dot, dot. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. It is okay to not be okay. Always remember that. Don't have to be perfect all the time. Don't have to ever. Uh, <laughs> looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete. But he is more than that. He is? A great heart he has. With much love and no room for fear. <sighs> I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that too. No one is just one thing. I've got to go, man. Uh, <laughs> it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell. 
Chloe Price. Goodbye, Samuel. You're an interesting character. Nice work, Samuel. Oh, that's cute. I love that little, little, little dagger. Such a nice white door. <laughs> Though, it feels like it's missing something. Doesn't it? Huh. It does. <laughs> that's some intellectual shit, Samuel. Samuel's a smarty. Okay, so how do we get Samuel out of here so we can do the door? Maybe... Hello, Burb. Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, Bird. Ah, we jumped sprinkler. <laughs> Blackwell Academy. Conserving water since... Never. Come on. What are you doing here? Oh my Aren't you God. supposed to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Well, I knew I did like that. Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> did Evan just call me intelligent? Yeah. Damn straight. Wow. Well, Evan looks really ridiculous. Chloe? Uh-huh. I've learned something about myself recently. Something that I think you might understand. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. For example, I've been trying to get the students and administration interested in forest fire prevention. That is kind of an odd topic to focus on. Well, quite relevant. People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? <laughs> Looks like you were right. Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. A about different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. I anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. No, oh, fuck you too, buddy. Okay, how do we do the spring for him? I just walked into the bed. Hmm. Hmm. Can we go up to that? Totem. We're free. Drew's room definitely isn't this way. Club egg. Oh, okay. We can look at it. <laughs> what are the chances that 200 years ago, some teenager got in trouble for carving faces all over the thing? Samuel. Blackwell's a resident creepy groundskeeper. I think there's anything else we can do. Such a nice white door. <laughs> Though, it feels mm. like it's missing something. Doesn't it? Too bad I can't tag it with Samuel standing right there. Yeah. How do we... How do we get around that? Just walk, just walk all over it. What a satisfying noise. Drew's room definitely isn't this way. <laughs> that turnaround she does. Okay. I don't think... What would I buy if I had enough money to build a whole dorm? Probably not a dorm. Yeah, that would be a, a weird thing to buy. <sighs> hmm... Rest of the fuse box. Okay. Maybe we could convince a squirrel to come and fuck him over. Why, yes, Chloe, of 
course you may look through that. Hmm, thank you. Okay, cool. We got totem, totem Steph's power Steph's really good at creating fantasy worlds. I can see why Mikey prefers them to his reality. Hmm. Miranda, Caliban, Ferdinand. Ariel, Prospera. Tempest. Love is bullshit. For the most part, yeah. I'll see you at the Tempest, right? I guess. Well, I don't know how I can tag that. So, I'll forget about it. Locked. Look, figures. Never mind. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Samuel. <laughs> Bingo. Bingo bongo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, I don't like when games do this. <laughs> like, I, pe I pieced all this together beforehand. And yet, it's... Okay, can I... If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here Come might get his on. attention. But Evan is right there. Get the bird to go over to the other pile of seeds. Hey! Shit! I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Oh, yeah! Time for a fresh start. I understand now. We have to do it from the right direction. I didn't realize there was another pile right there. hey -ya! Here we go. Evan's just like, oh, okay, cool. So tempting, but Evan will see me for oh, okay. sure. <laughs> and he sounds like he's in the mood to get me in trouble. Um. hey -ya! One small flight for this bird, one giant leap backward for Chloe Price. Oh. Hi. -ya. Almost there. I don't know where. Where? Is there another thingy? Is it just in general? Fuck off, bird. <laughs> Hi. -ya. Gotcha. There you go, that's oh, a good shot. Perfect. See, we helped you out, Evan. You're welcome. <laughs> Look at him up there. Evan, totem. Smash it. Don't like this way, Steph. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn it's gonna on. Turn on right in our face. Yep. <laughs> that works. The way he walks up to it. Yeah, I don't like when it you have to interact with something first to be like, oh okay. That doesn't that doesn't work. That's annoying. Squirrel piece offering. He likes the squirrels. <laughs> Is it squirrel holding some nuts? Hmm. Keep. Who would have thought sprinklers would be the key to getting inside the dorms? <laughs> Sorry, Samuel. Because, of course, Max did the exact same thing. I mean, obviously, it's very handy for them All to right. reuse the time same areas the that they've already got. No time like the present. 
why it's a gift or whatever. Someone's coming. Chloe? <laughs> hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get expelled? I'm visiting a friend. Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't. I, I really can't just let you go in. I'm going inside. I'm going inside, dude. You're just going to have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. Oof, this is a tough one. What's my official business? Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. Your job is creepy, then. Which makes you kind of a creeper. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? Is Wells pressuring you to write more students up? I'm not even a student, but sure, don't let that stop you. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I thought we were friends, too, but when the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look. I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. Just look the other way, Skip. It's not like I'm up to anything criminal. I just need to use the bathroom. <laughs> Okay. I don't know what to do. Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. What? Is that uh, descriptive enough? I don't want to know. But... En fuego utero. <laughs> en fuego utero. En fuego utero. I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh... Matthew. <sighs> I'm here. I've gotten reports of an unknown. Thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. <laughs> That'll be uh, Frank, right? I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. Good idea to leave the keys on the door. It's gonna get Samuel in trouble. I'm guessing we're gonna see um, Skip get fired at some point. Obviously, we know David right. takes over his Which role. Which one is Drew's room? Uh, fire now 50% contained. Additional road closures. Hmm. Guess I'll never see my name on one of these. I wouldn't have made it to senior year anyway. Warren Graham? Is that Warren? I got Drew, Drew's 110. <laughs> Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? Elliot Hampton's room. Wonder what he's up to right now. I mean, do we wanna? Do we wanna? <laughs> Not really, but... I don't want to miss out on some juicy goss. It's quite plain.
Elliot's kind of preppy in his own way. Maybe he does belong at Blackwell. Elliot does work really hard. I guess I'm happy for him. I knew Elliot did well in class, but I didn't realize he was here on a full ride. Hmm. Okay. I've never been able to get Elliot to play for me. I guess he's either really good or <laughs> really bad. The world breaks everyone, and afterward, some are strong at the broken places. Why does that make me sad? It's been so long since Elliot and I actually went to a concert together. Wow. I remember this show. Crazy that Elliot would hold on to this picture after so long. Mm, he really likes you, Johnny. Elliot's mom seems nice. Lucky mm -hmm. Dana. That's Logan. But <laughs> Warren Graham is such a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Oh, Warren. There's way less porn here than I would have thought. Elliot Hampton, Arcadia Bay. Chloe Elizabeth Pryor, Arcadia Bay. I mean, this is creepy. Why are all of the guys in this creepy? Major Lucas Hampton says that his dad. Illuminati eye meaning. Oh, bless him. Hmm. Guess I'm not the only one who keeps a diary. Uh, That's not half bad. Okay. Dark. Who is it that Elliot's writing about? You. Elliot is way more artistic than I thought. <laughs> Wait, are these about me? <laughs> what the fuck, Elliot? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little, little, little bit, a little bit weird, a little bit weird. Let's get out, let's get out. Oof. Let's see me lay a bar, let's see me lay a bar. Do do do. Break a leg tonight. Hayden. I want to say that half the fun of weed is knowing it's illegal, but I think it'd be just as awesome over the counter. Well, that's always the argument against it, isn't it? Nathan, then? Oh, Trevor and Justin, okay. Yep, uh, definitely Drew's room. What do I do if Drew's here? Probably not. Probably not, though. Go. Cool. We're coming in. Why does no one lock their doors? That's actually terrifying to me. God, I remember we spent ages looking in Nathan's room for the clue. And we had to have the light on of the projector to then move the sofa. <sighs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? Uh, is Mikey sleeping in here with him? Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. 
that the dinner choices are steak or steak. <sighs> For the love of God. I didn't realize Drew was this good at sports. I bet he can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. <laughs> So these are Pring people wasn't lying. For his attention. Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his fellow meatheads. So many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. <laughs> hmm. Too bad I lost my release form. I was really looking forward to running all those sweaty laps. Michael was in Mikey. So he's 96, four years younger, isn't he? Okay. Is the money in there? It's quite a heavy duty. Oh, right. Guess I have to crack a four digit code. It'll be something to do Durr with his brother. On. Yeah. That fucker's dead. Bad guys don't usually look so obvious, but this is still awesome. Uh, awesome. <laughs> Mikey's figures. <laughs> Playing that game yesterday was actually fun. Well, yeah, it's D&D. &D. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. Mm. <laughs> they look so happy. A lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? Dad's address. Arcadia Bay shelter for the homeless. So their dad's homeless, maybe? Now? Like they had his previous address on there, and now they've got the address for the... Um, thing. Oh, a lot of there? numbers on here. 12-12. Would Drew really use something like this Damn it. Damn it. Wrong <laughs> numbers. Might actually need some help with this one. Yeah, Mikey. Oh, that'd be cute. We should go to that. One, two, two, seven. Uh, worth a shot. Rough time to have your birthday. Yes. I wonder this if you can find. Oh yeah, fun. we could have done that, couldn't we? Because we knew Mikey's birthday on that form. I was trying to think if we had something to do with Mikey, and oh. it was. Did little Drew beat you up too? It's like Pompadi. <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. <laughs> Breaking, entering, stealing people's money. Yeah. Pretty good, Chloe. Funny you can make a career out of it. Okay. Got the money. Time to bust out of here. Yep. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Hide, Chloe. Hide, 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 hide. Oh, it's Mikey. <laughs> hey, Elamon. Chloe? What are you doing here? I was looking for Drew. I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so. Why? Bro, we gotta go. Huh? Yesterday wasn't enough? You wanna go another round? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff, let's move. Drew, relax. Slow down. Uh, shit. You're making me think you're nervous about something. Who the hell is that? No one. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. 
You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. Okay, right, that's Damon. School's yeah. not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two a days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough time. Oh yeah. yes, of course. Dad lost the job. That a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Symbolism. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm good. Oh. Where is it? Oh. Please! Just give me one with- oh. You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. <laughs> Sorry to have to do oh. this, kid! No oh. one steals from me! Oh. No one. Fuck. Fuck! Um, you can't stay with Mikey. Let me go. No. Your brother said to stay inside. It'll be okay, Mikey. It'll be okay. Damn, you are one tough kid. Fuck you. Yeah? Well, what about this? Good luck running on that knee now. Bye bye, football. <coughs> Well, I'm done. Get my money. Or maybe it'll be your little brother I talk to next. Oh. See you soon. Fucking hell. Drew! Uh, uh. It's, it's okay. I'm okay, little brother. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. Fuck. This just gets me in trouble, but I don't want patch uh, to happen. Here. It sounds like you could use this. You took this from my locker? Frank asked me to. I I didn't know. I I'm sorry, man. My dad. He, he needs this money. Way more than that asshole does. Thanks. Drew, you need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Yeah, no. No way. What, um, what are you going to do? <sighs> About Damon? I don't know. Oh, shit. One day at a time. Everything's always you. about money. I think we got here early, Chloe. But oh, okay, we're going backstage, it's fine. I have a pass. Oh, it's Trevor! No. 
I get confused. It's too many names now. There's too many names. This day has been so messed up. At least I can talk to Rachel now. If I can find her back here. One person left. Wonder who it is. this here? What does this to do with? Suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Oh, so many things. It's amazing how much you can miss out on. I've already seen what happens when Rachel plays with fire. Rachel plus swords? Should be fun. Mm. S G. Must be Steph. Sucks that she has to miss this. Oh yeah. Chloe Price presents Firewalk. Laser light spectacular. <laughs> oh no. This is how they break. Good job. Well, if Steph's not here, then who's gonna do everything? Hey, Mr. Keaton, what's up? What's up, Mr. Keaton? Why, if it isn't the muse of the Blackwell Drama Department. Tell me, young lady, do you still believe true love is a lie? Definitely. <laughs> For sure. Uh, the only person you can trust in this world is yourself. Everything else is just hormones and fairy tales <laughs> a cynic's wisdom takes no prisoners fucking <laughs> dramaturge may your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of stephanie gingrich's sudden recusal an emergency she says uh -huh. word stephanie was our lion of the light board but platitudinal though it may be the show must sojourn forth that dude is weird yeah, a little bit. After all the work Steph did, it's amazing that she would drop everything to be there for Mikey. Did Doug dig David's garden, or did David dig Doug's? <laughs> what? Hey, Dana. Hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden, or did David dig Doug's? Did Doug dig How David's garden, know. or did David? Did Doug dig David's garden, or did David dig? Okay. Is that where Rachel is? I don't want to go there yet. Was oh, this the uh, swimming? Drew place? seems to be the captain of every Blackwell sport. Man, I hope he's okay. Boys changing tent. Thanks, but no thanks. Fair enough. Hey, Samantha. Oh, what's going on here? That's some shameless eavesdropping there, Samantha. Hey, Samantha. Shh. 
Nathan, please. I can't do it, Dad. I'm sorry. Keep your voice down. No. You don't understand. They all hate me. They're just going to laugh at me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't know. Because you show weakness. Just like you're doing oh, this is some right great, now. Great Dad. parenting right when now. When will you learn that this isn't about you and your problems? This is about the Prescott name. My name. I didn't realize it was the Prescott. You will not embarrass me. Nathan. Yes. Good. Now. Break a leg. I'll see you after the show. Oh my god. Great pep talk, Mr. P. Everyone knows the best way to instill confidence in someone is by intimidating them. I don't know who you are, but mind your own business. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say but I'm flipping them off right don't now. Don't you have like a private bunker filled with gold coins where you could have these conversations? Fuck! <laughs> uh, oh, what the? Happened to Chloe's leg? Did you see that? Can we get an instant replay on that? <laughs> hey, Nathan's dad is some asshole, huh? I know. I wish he'd just go away and leave him alone. Nathan's dad sucks, but you should be careful what you wish for when it comes to parents. Oh, Chloe, I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. <laughs> for what? You didn't kill my dad. Or did you? <laughs> <laughs> that was a I was going to say, she, you I, need no. to. Your dark sense of humor reminds me a lot of Nathan's. Actually, the two of you are really similar. Oh, yikes. Uh, what the hell does that mean? I'm serious. You're both artistic and surprisingly sensitive. You've been through a lot, and a lot of people unfairly judge you for it. I think you stood up for Nathan yesterday because you know what he's going through. Nathan's hurt, and he needs help. But whenever I try to help him, it always seems to make things worse. If you were Nathan right now, what would you want me to do? <sighs> I'm worried about when this girl. I'm super angry. I need to let it all out. The last thing I want is someone trying to calm me down. Case in point, how pissed I can't he remember was if we ever saw Samantha on if the I folders. You, I'd give him space and wait for him to come to you. <sighs> that actually makes sense. Thanks, Chloe. Wouldn't want to lead the great wall of bitchiness back in the drama lab, I guess. Mm. Yeah, no, I'm worried. <laughs> oh my god, Dana, stop. Rachel? That's not Rachel. Did she just put something in her drink? Wait, I wasn't paying attention fully. Yeah, she was putting some... Fucking Victoria. She's just as bad as fucking Nathan. I'm okay, no, but... Uh, let's not jump to conclusions. Maybe that's her drink, and it's something she puts in it, like, you know, to relax her. Very little bit bitchiness. Whatever that was. What is was, this lady doing in my room? It was <laughs> shady as shit. Oh, hello to both of you. Where have you been that you've come in together? Victoria slipped into that drink. You have to jump to conclusions? Yeah, you do. Oh 
was playing Phasma until now. Didn't know you were on. Yeah, I started a little bit later uh, than I normally do. Adding putting on makeup to the long how, list. How you doing, Minton? How you doing, Craig? Dead on stage. <laughs> hmm. Well, she's not in here anyway. Mirror. What the fuck was that with Chloe's eyes? Why are they shaped like that? What? Do you see that? What? What are they doing? They do a weird wobble. Why does she stand still? They do a hurt. <laughs> they do a little flick. Only the finest child slave labor for Victoria Chase. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, probably true. I'm doing okay, thank you. Bit of a bit of a weird day. But Victoria Chase is actually a pretty talented photographer. What does that piss me off so much? Spent some of it playing games with my friend, which was nice. It's Evan. Evan? Yeah. Muscle relaxers? Okay, yeah, so that's not a good thing. That's it, shove it all back in. Hurry now before your tea gets... <sighs> what are you doing here? This area is for cast and crew only. Here for me? Wait, what? I'm here for Rachel. I'm here to support Rachel. How nice. I want to make sure she's relaxed <laughs> before the show. Whatever. Whatever. I'm too good for this. Oh, Rachel Amber, it was customary among the thespians of ancient Greece for the understudy to offer hot tea to the lead actress on opening night as a way of showing appreciation for her tutelage. It is in that spirit that I offer you this beverage. Please tell me Chloe the switched them around. I would have done that. For all to see. Wow. That, um... Thanks. Can we distract Victoria? Hold up. Did you hear that? Hear what? I didn't hear anything. Oh, I hear it now. It, it sounds like Mr. Keaton's calling for you. He is? Oh, he probably wants my thoughts on the set dressing. Okay, don't <laughs> go anywhere. Bad start to the day, but I did some things to cheer me up. That's good. What's going on? Whatever. Which dosed your tea? That is the least surprising thing ever. What should we do? You know, I was, I was going to switch the cups, but given the, what happens later on, Yeah, maybe not. Let's ask Victoria what she thinks. The direct approach? Kind of my style. I do love your style. Mr. Keaton's busy with Nathan. I'm sure he'll call on my aesthetic sensibility soon. In the meantime... Victoria, Chloe says you tried to drug me. Is that true? What? Uh, of course not. A dropout Chloe is clearly directing her misplaced anger at me. I'm sorry your life is a mess, but it's not my fault, okay? Okay, mm. drink the tea then. Chloe, Victoria is my friend. She would never do anything <laughs> to sabotage me. Then she should prove it. Drink the tea. <laughs> Face! <laughs> How would you dare insult Victoria's integrity like that? Then again... If that's what it'll take to convince you that Victoria is a good and caring person, fine. Oh. Come on, Vic. Put dropout Chloe in her place once and for all. Do you know what? It's even better if she deliberately drinks the tea that's got muscle <laughs> relaxants in it. That's it. Take a big drink. Oh my god, she actually drank some of it. Oh, happy? So happy. Oh, whatever. If you're done accusing me of things, I'll just be on my way. Bitches. Bitches. 
Wow. Saved my ass again. Price. All in a day's work. And this has been a particularly batshit crazy day. Hmm. Oh, hey. Uh, that's mine. The gloomiest shirt of the bunch. How did I know you were going to pick that one? Because the other one looks shit. Knows all. The jacket was terrible. We should be like, what did you say? <laughs> Put your that fingers in her eyes. Yeah, I did want to when we first played this game. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal Not to be confused with culprit. Romeo and Juliet. Down the road Juliet and robbing and us Julius. of our Ariel. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, He's way too intense, Mr. Keaton. The situation is a dire one indeed. Chloe, we may have to you're going to have to do it. Chloe, you got to do it. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. Keaton, no. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. Oh. A cynic. She's the right. She's just died. That's question. it. Victoria's not in the first game she now. If you boot indeed. it up, she's dead. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? My whole life. Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time, and she's fantastic at it. I mean, she doesn't my know dear. any of the lines. What if I told you that the entire fate of the production... <laughs> oh my god, this is like Chloe's nightmare. ...your slender shoulders. Okay, weird. <laughs> Get to Victoria laying there! Fucked. Chloe, please. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> you look great, Chloe. This is where you get your blue I can't from. I believe Rachel's talked me into this. Let's take I a quick brief have to memorize script. All of this. All right, guys, are you ready? <clears throat> Thanks, Rachel. We're gonna have to remember all the lines. I'm not even gonna cheat and write them down as well. Okay. All hail, great mistress! I come to. Uh, oh, sorry, that's all part. All hail, great mistress! I come to answer thy best pleasure. And then Prospero has that spirit. In there. I boarded the king's ship in every cabin. I flamed amazement, the fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring. The most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves tremble. Not a soul. The king's son, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped, cried, Hell is empty, and all the devils are here. That's the name of the episode. Her eyes open, she is dead. <laughs> she could, you know, maybe. That's not where she gets her brew from. I can't remember that much. Okay. <laughs> not a hair perished, and as thou badst me, I have dis uh, dispersed them about the isle in troops. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. My liberty. That's my noble mistress. And Ariel exits. And that's all we need to do. Okay. I'm genuinely worried that we're going to have to remember all of these, because I know what this game is like. I want to impress her, but, like I said, I'm not going to cheat. Okay, so all hail, great mistress. I come to answer thy best pleasure. I boarded the king's ship. Sulfurous, roaring Neptune. Not a soul, the king's son, Ferdinand. Hell is empty. Not a hair perished. Is there more toil? My liberty. That's my noble mistress. Okay. I've already forgotten all of it. All <laughs> uh, hail, hmm. great mistress. I boarded the kingship. Not a soul. Not a hair perished. Is there more toil? Maybe the options are really obvious. I hope so. No, Craigie? Oh, God. My liberty, that's my noble mistress. 
all hail great mistress i imagine it's gonna be like the start of like a few of them so that it'll say like all hail great mistress i boarded the kingship not a soul and then you have to like pick the right one so it's, we're we're hailing we get on the ship there is no soul uh the hair's fine is there more toil my liberty that's my noble so we hail we get on the ship there is no soul um uh not a hair perished and then is there more toil my liberty that's my noble mistress so hail no you have to type them all in no you don't no you don't <laughs> okay so we hail um we get on the ship there is no soul not a hair perished uh is there more toil my liberty that's my noble mistress i'm gonna go back to start so we hail uh all hail the mistress there is no ship no <laughs> we get on the ship there is no soul um uh not a hair perished <laughs> there is no ship <laughs> not a hair perished um my brain not a hair perished uh is there more toil <laughs> no hair uh, uh, <laughs> uh is there toil my liberty and then we leave that's my noble mistress that's my noble mistress so hail Get on the ship. There is no soul. Um, no hair. Uh, it's fucked up or whatever it is. Um, <laughs> uh, no hair. Uh, it's, it's perished. Then is there more toil? My liberty. Um, and then that's my noble mistress. I'm forgetting that that's my noble mistress. Okay. I hope this is all going to be in vain. We're fucked already. <laughs> Hair in the toilet on the soil of ship. <laughs> hail. <laughs> okay, hail. Boarded the ship. Not a soul. Not a hair perish. Is there more toil? My liberty. That's my noble mistress. Elliot, you're going to have to text me the lines. <laughs> oh, you'll see. <laughs> Elliot's like, where are you? Oh, this is going to be a disaster. Oh, dear. She's going to fucking hate me. Oh. The only thing worse than looking at spandex is being forced to wear it. <sighs> Looks like I'm late. As usual. She looking fine? Oh, can we look in the mirror? Oh, we can graffiti her. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> it wouldn't be called a makeup mirror if it wasn't supposed to have makeup all over it. True. We're going to RuPaul's Drag Race this summer. Why does it feel like Steph is mocking me from afar? <laughs> when life gives you lipstick, use it to tag shit. That's how it works. Death or tragedy? Well, this is a tragedy, so... Got it. It's a really fucked up story, The Tempest. <laughs> okay, remember we're hailing. We get on the ship. There is no soul. Not a hair is... Um, no hair is... Not a hair perished. Um, is there more toil? My liberty. Um, we get out of there. Time for my big debut. Joy. Here we go. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. So what's so what's, what's the scenario? By accident, most strange. Bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. <gasps> oh, uh, that's I you. I am ready now. Get up there. Come on. Approach my aerial. Come. Damn it. No problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel, 
and save my life. <sighs> All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Okay. Most fearless, okay. generous Okay, I didn't spirit. have to remember the line then. Hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? I boarded the king's I ship. I boarded the king's ship. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves uh, tremble. <laughs> My brave spirit, who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason. Uh, not a soul. Her inflection, she's insane. I uh, love it. Ferdinand was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried. Hell is empty. Cried. <clears throat> Hell is empty. And all the devils are here. I can't. Can we leave? Yes. No. We cannot leave. But are they, Ariel, safe? All right. I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere. I get on the shipwreck. Ta-da! Not a hair perished. And uh, as thou baddest me... I didn't reach the I stage directions. them about the aisle. In... Loops. In loops. <laughs> I can not remember. Gods in heaven. When is Juliet getting here? Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed. But there's more work. I can remember that. More toil. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. I wish I'd remembered all the lines now. How? Instead now? of just the start. What is it? Thou canst demand. Liberty! My liberty. Indeed. Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line, is it? What's going on? But... Thou assured my freedom, didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Keith! They're way off script. It's this is a confession. Magical. Yeah. Then why, I pray you, wish you to be free? Excitement isn't happiness. Excitement's a mere counterfeit of bliss. These storms and these adventures. I prefer to know thou still cared for my plainest self I have thee in my grasp I will not bend I will not see thee flying forth alone the envy would be more than I could bear so come with me is that not in thy power spirit take my hands most faithful friend for but a little longer, I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? <laughs> yes, I am most pleased. Your duty done for now, so go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. Thanks, Chloe. Well done. An admirable effort. And the ending. 
I wish I hadn't messed up that one line. Sorry, that was very emotional. Humbled. I'm so annoyed I messed up that no one line. Problem. Fuck. What the hell just happened? Very rarely am I perfectionist, real? but this game brings it out. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho? Slave! Caliban! Come forth, Come I say! On! Uh, mm. As wicked do, as e'er my mother brushed. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art. I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou That's didst nice seek too. to violate the honor of my child. Shit. He's crying. Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. Fuck you. Oh dear. Where should this music be? In the air or the earth? Oh, thank God. <coughs> this play is super intense. That's one word for what it. What is it? A couple words. A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor. Do you love me? Oh heaven, oh earth, bear witness to this sound. I beyond all limit of what else in the world do love, prize, honor you. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break, their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all o'erthrown, and what strength I have's mine own. Pray. Release me from my bands with the help of your good hands. Damn. See why Chloe likes her. <laughs> you can tell she really gets into her performance. Rich got no booty. Ah, I won't comment on that. Oh, you should go out there too. Oh, come on, Chloe, you did your bit. They couldn't have done it without you. Wasn't that fun? You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. Mm -hmm. No, that little speech bit was adorable. Felt very real. Oh. Sarah? Is that her name? I've forgotten now. <laughs> oh my god! Keaton's face behind you when you walked on stage? <laughs> I was shitting myself. Oh, that wasn't obvious at all. <laughs> he was shitting himself. <laughs> that dude owes me. Principal Wells was probably there, but just didn't recognise Chloe. <laughs> just like, no, it's another bird person. <coughs> I 
Is that the top? She got maxed to, well, not got maxed to wear, but maxed ended up wearing. The entire fate of our production rests upon your slender shoulders. <laughs> I've never had an experience like that on stage. Yeah, right? You know, you. Like, seriously. I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I feel... Even though I butchered really that one line. Awesome. If you told me this morning I'd be this happy tonight. <sighs> You've gone through so much shit today. Right now's pretty good. Okay. The whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical. Hold on, to go. <laughs> Your little heart's melting. I know I'm in tea. Let's leave. For real. For real. You said you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night, let's do it. <laughs> I know. I've been thinking about that all day. Can you imagine if you played this game before but the main game? That was... <laughs> Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but... Like... Eventually. Let's go now. Didn't we already agree on stage? <laughs> we can't just... <laughs> Why not? Yes, you win. Let's go. Fine <coughs> then, drama queen. Come on, create an alternate timeline. You tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. <laughs> New York. She wants wow. to go to New York. New York City. Obviously. 3 a.m. You and me. Outside we know that... Cafe Chloe wanted to go to California, she though, didn't she? She wants to go to LA. Broadway songs with ten people we just met, and this cute guy in horn rim glasses will pass by and see you and slow down. Yeah. Okay. He'll be like, "Want to split a cab?" And I'll be like, "Back off. She's with me. You're full of shit." <laughs> <laughs> I love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just? Feel like everything's possible. <laughs> Seeing after him makes me Rachel, more sad. Yeah. Stop. If you don't mean this, it's it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious. Than she's my she should never smell that tea. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking just watch her drop like Victoria. Chloe, what would it take to convince you? <laughs> How about um we know she get her bracelet goes to Frank so oh. Woohoo! Let's go lesbians. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Convincing enough? Yeah. Oh, I came back for round two. You ruined the moment? No.
Holy shit. It's the ash from the fire. Right? <laughs> what is this stuff? Well, what is this stuff? I don't know, Chloe. I think it's a sign. I think. I mean, parallels be. with Tonight. Life is Strange really? with the snow. Wink, wink. If you want to, I'm ready. Let's go sneak some clothes and What stuff just happened to, to Chloe's face? For she just freaked out. Anyone else see me. that? Action replay? I gotta say, my clothes look damn good on you. Cool. Let's do it. And then. We'll get the hell oh, out of but we know this doesn't work out. <laughs> this is so sad. That sounds perfect. <sighs> Integrity, honesty, loyalty. Uh -huh, very funny game. Let's see what you did there. Why are teenagers so cute but sad? Well, it's it's the innocence, isn't it? It's the naivety. No, I think we're all like that when we're younger. Especially when it comes to love and stuff. We don't know what we want. We get blinded by it. The finger guns! Oh. I wonder who you pass that down on to. Cough, cough, Minty. Oh, you're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Our star returns. Yeah, friend. You're just uh -huh. in time. Wait, were they Dinner's not? almost ready. Did they watch it? Or? Chloe, oh. was it? It was. It is. Just go along with it. It was, but that was before I was expelled. And they were roommates? And they were now roommates? It's that girl who used to go here. What was her name again? All one word. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up was any a joke. sore subjects. That was a joke. Mama Amber. <laughs> Who's sore? Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Hashtag gal pals. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. <laughs> You're hilarious. Um. Yeah. No I want to stay for dinner. I'm more you got to play along. Burger you play along. a la king kind of gal. She's funny, this one. <laughs> that is funny. I'm aware. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes. I mean, this does end in disaster. Chloe, would you join us for dinner? You must join us for dinner, or thou shall leave this establishment now. Great. Forsooth, thou I art a mother's sweat I'll cloth. Right down. Don't be long. In the meantime, perhaps... You can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, <laughs> Mrs. Amber. It's Mama Amber, but okay. Okay, I'm going to go pack. Mom's After better. dinner, we can make our break. Wow. You cool down Isn't here? Isn't that a classic? Yeah. Totally. <laughs> your parents love me. They're good at coming off that way, but don't let your guard down. And, Chloe, we just need to m make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know, <laughs> yeah. that I would normally say. Exactly. Mom Just some what? quality time with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong? <sighs> That's a good question. I'd rather Victoria didn't get drugged at all, but hey, she drunk it. 
<laughs> she she stayed true to the to the role. Thought I could have done with these when I was in there. No, I remember these lines. It was only that that line there about they're all something. I presume it was groups, not loops. <laughs> Hell equals empty equals my brain. Your brain is hell. <laughs> Chloe Price, H. Lamba, cute. On the Hollywood uh, Walk of Fame. There's the lighthouse. You're in the tempest. Ah, oh dear. Thing is, though, right, it's the US, though, so if he goes to hospital, he has to pay for that, right? Huh. Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. I'm glad I nipped that in the bud. In the butt. Security system. Armed. Yeah, well, I'm armed. I don't really want to talk to him. I love how we're just going on their computer. Doing the play oh, okay. was bad enough without having to read about it afterwards. Hope Drew's okay, though. Hmm. hmm. How to clear browser history. Followed by a gap for all of yesterday. That's like cheating asshat 101. That's weird that he deliberately Poor Rachel. cleared his browser history but didn't didn't think to clear the browsing history for, for any of these. Incognito tab question mark? How to um, incognito tab? I can't fucking speak now. The beacon. Hmm. That's what I want to say. But we love butts. Oh, it gives us something to talk about with him. Or well, maybe we don't Holy bring up shit. incognito files. That's the guy who attacked Drew. I know I did the right thing, giving Drew his money back. But man, I wouldn't want to be on this guy's bad side. Rodney Thundersears, Sheldon Pike, Peter Gillespie, and oh, that's Sarah Gearhart. Gearhart. Guess some families actually go to Paris mm. instead of just talk about it their whole lives. No, yeah, people got the money, I guess. Easy to see who wears the literary pants around here. Bleak House. Wuthering Heights. I like their English literature. I'm not just going to sit in the recliner opposite James. Don't mind me, James. Just reading they the newspaper. They say all news is local, but damn. That's right at the heart of it. I'm amazed I managed to get a photo of it there. Because <laughs> that's the willow tree that was set, fire. set on fire. Oh, I guess we speak to this knob. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, that's Papa Amber tea. What can I do for you? Uh, what do you think of the play? What do you think? I thought Rachel was perfectly cast. She certainly was. We're very proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. Do what? I don't know the name for it. Uh, reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh, I just meant the wizard part. Ah, uh, I suppose that's also true. <laughs> Your daughter's pretty great. Thank you. Yeah, obviously We're in the story. Her as well. He's uh, you ever an old feel man. like she's so awesome at everything that you just want to shake her? <laughs> that yeah. look. Uh, uh, me neither. Oh, dear. So, you're a district attorney, huh? Yeah, I'm your district attorney. 
So I can call you if I'm ever district arrested. What would you be arrested for? <laughs> oh my god. It was a joke. Not a good one. Clearly. Oh, this guy's a fucking... Duty calls. <laughs> good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, they obviously make him to be an unlikable prick. Do you want to shake your daughter because she's so amazing? <laughs> I mean, hey, I want to shake people I think are amazing sometimes. Oh, this is just leading to me smashing Glasses. something. Glasses. Damn. The Ambers are fancy as shit. Does she think they're fancy because they own glasses? Or is it the type of glasses? Never realized that getting drunk could be so complicated. She just drinks Everything directly out of the bottle. Everything about this house is nicer, cleaner, better, and more expensive than mine. Which isn't damn. Wonder if this is a family heirloom. Stop shaking people. Never. <gasps> oh, I... I think that's an original who gives a shit. <laughs> Sorry. I love Chloe's sense of humor. Oh, I mean, what the fuck is this? I don't get art. I really, really don't. I really don't. I mean, art like that, I don't get. A lot of Coca Cola glasses. We have a lot of Coca Cola glasses. We have, like, the cam ones and the, you know, Rachel your classic. And I both had great um, childhoods. Glass ones, thin, Mine going just up to ended big. a little before hers, I guess. Art is nice. That picture was nice. I mean, yeah, some art is nice. I don't really like this kind of thing. I just don't. I don't understand it. I don't. Nothing's like... Nothing is drawn to me. I like... Um, what do you call them? Like, realistic like paintings of things. I think they're fun. Uh, your, your back garden is just a forest. I am artist. Yeah, I like your art. I think your portraits, would you call them portraits? I don't know. Um, I think they look really cool. It's boring to take a photo. No, but there's something beautiful about being able to recreate that in, in such a, like I see that as a proper skill. What the Amber family considers entertainment looks a lot like what I consider homework. Do you, do you think uh, crosswords are homework because they're not they're great fun i fucking love this kind of shit literal yeah i do face people it's skill but it's not creative yeah i don't but solved it oh that's fucking ruined it um but just because something's not creative doesn't mean it's not impressive i like i mean you know there are other bits of creativity I like. Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. Can't tag this. Well, Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. She didn't really give a shit when you ruined the crossword, so, you know. It's fine. Cupboard. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. Oh. I, I can never, I don't like having my plates like that. I like a plate rack. Mikey, what's up, my man? I like how it says one message and there's 5,000. Do that surgery in pain, but okay. You start with me. I should save our money. We owe you. Most heroes do. It's cute that she's been considered a hero. Hmm. Losing your wifey status right now. <laughs> plate rack, just put them on top of each other. No, it's nice to have a plate rack. So clean. I bet Rose would kill it with my mom at the diner. I wonder if this will be the most expensive thing I've ever eaten off of. <laughs> Besides my computer, of course. <clears throat> sure. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. You borrowed that shirt from Rachel. We call it the Rorschach shirt. What do you see? I see a bird. Uh, I guess I see a bird. Even though it's on your chest. Interesting. Well, wash it before you bring it back. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Wow. 
uh, what did you think of the play? Rachel was typically amazing, but I never liked The Tempest. What did you think of it? No, I don't like The Tempest to either. To be so. honest, I only really read a couple pages. Theater's not really my Ugh, thing. The way Americans spell I theater. I guess I'm not so into saying words someone else came up with. Fair point. Then again, I'm not sure you can judge the entire art form based on the dead white men your curriculum focuses on. Okay. Damn. Shots fired, Shakespeare. I mean, fuck. <laughs> Shakespeare's a lot better than other white writers. Believe me. <laughs> cough, cough, JK Rowling. <laughs> Not that she's a classic. Um, Mr. Amber. Integrity, honesty, loyalty. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess I'm still getting used to being an elected official's wife. Uh, what's it like being married to the Karen, DA? Please. Yeah. Much like I I being her, married to anyone else, yeah. I imagine. But with a lot more secrets, right? Secrets? Like attorney-client privilege and all that. Well, as district attorney, he brings cases against criminals on behalf of the state. He doesn't defend them. Of course not. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Rachel was the pretty German awesome version. tonight. Yes, she was. I know. Though, to be Kino, fair, she's pretty cinema. awesome every night. That's it. I wish I were half as driven when I was her age. Me too. <laughs> it's as close as I've got to theatre. I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself. I can see why the two of you get along so well. You can? Because it still seems crazy to me. So, you putting me to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. You uh, got what it. if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could... Mm, I Never mind. God, this woman is fucking brainwashed You're or something. You're a riot. Chloe. Oh my god, yeah, a riot. All Fucking right, Chloe, crazy. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Have I? Have I? It's off to the table with you. It's still theatre, but you pronounce it different. Oh, is it? Do you know I only know that because of Black Ops? <laughs> Wait, where did you put the plates, Chloe? Oh, Chloe, that's disgusting. Oh. Oh, a little bit more delicately, please. Okay. Oh my god. Why are you throwing them down? Dead cow. Mm. A little bit. Justin Williams mum just called me. You were, were you in the play tonight? I'd like to see that. Kind of just happened. Oh, it's last minute. I'm glad you're doing well. Be nice to see you tonight. Coming home. Please, Chloe, I miss you. Oh, bless. I feel sorry for her. Oh, this is all. <sighs> Just throw the plates. No, don't throw the plates. Okay, I delivered the plates. Can you go away so I can graffiti? Yes, Chloe? What next? Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? The fact that she calls him Mr. Amber. I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. What's up, Mr. Amber? My name's Chloe. It's nice to meet you. I play a lot of DVD. Something else? Would you like something What's to your drink? Advice, Mr. Amber. I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah. Let's say sherry. Sherry? Wow. Okay. Fucking, what One, is it, Christmas? Two, three, sherry. <laughs> Comical. Comical? Yeah, Chloe, fuck you, buddy. Maybe you can help me understand something. Yeah, is it? Well, go on. Give it Let me a guess, shot. it's something misogynistic. Rose and I, we're okay, worried about not. Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? 
besides me. Besides all my bad to... behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. And you were all too eager to play into our expectations. In my experience, that's a tactic people use to cover for someone else. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. Mm -hmm. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Uh, thanks. Could you be more of a douchebag? Ah. Uh. Just fucking shot at him. Married people who don't talk to each other should not be married people. I mean, yeah. Well, indeed. You Bravo, Daddy. Fun? Thanks. Wait, sorry, you weren't talking to me. Yeah. Sherry. The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. Put your finger out your daughter's the own person. The glasses are yeah. in the china cabinet. Yeah, I opened the cupboard already. I've left it open because I'm a fucking monster. How am I supposed to get monster. to China? kidding <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet right Chloe, you're kind of bringing it on yourself when you see your jokes aren't landing you stop making the same kind of jokes yes their sense of humor is bad but you do not keep slamming your head against the wall trying to do it uh, it's the triangle shape one basic shapes <laughs> now you're speaking my language because you said basic. Okay, that's just one. Oh, I guess he's just having sherry. Okay. I mean, if I drop it, just yeet it on the floor. Here you go. Here's some air to drink, James, you piece of sh. Okay. Um, there's already sherry glasses. You guys have already been drinking sherry. What is going on? Why am I doing this? Yes, you ain't really? changing for no one. So, am I crushing it? This dinner would be taking literally minutes longer without you. Yeah, well. Crushing it. Sorry, am I supposed to be doing something? I kind of stopped paying attention. What, did, what am I supposed to be doing? Am I giving it to him? Do you want an empty glass? What am I doing? Hello, you gotta hi. put down this fancy-ass glass. Yeah, where am I putting it down? I, I see, I see. He sits at the head of the table. Of course he does. Why are you keeping it in your back pocket? That's so weird. <laughs> Hello. Yes, Chloe? Um, yes, more. What Can else? I do more for you? I feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. Not something you, you probably You never hear, know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. <laughs> Thanks. That's what we call smokers, yes. I think. Time to light some candles, and finally, Mrs. Amber has <laughs> her back turned. She had her back turned before, but... Yeah. Time to fix this photo. I mean, you know. Count Dracula or Frankenstein's monster. Count Dracula. Wait, this feels like something I should be getting in trouble for. I suck. I want to suck your blood. Okay. Um. Oh, I got to light the candles. I remember. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Click. 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 The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? Is that a reference to something? Oh, is that because Rachel self-immolated? I remember that now. I see we, we play in Detroit Become Human. I'm kind of interested actually in playing that game. I only saw bits of it, but it looked like fun. I just actually need a lighter for every candle. So, I know. You a stick you or something. Are you Rachel in any of the same classes? I wish. I wish. Rachel's all honors. 
I'm still trying to get into remedial... What's it called? Vocabulary. What about that fire? <laughs> oh, yeah, and she set fire to the forest. <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. For a good actor you, or actress, you really the butchered that. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. <laughs> it's strange. And it's almost surreal. They say a, a fire stick. like that could yeah, only come get, from a Do you not have a little stick you use to light things with? Passion. What does that mean? I don't know. You tell me. Oh my god, stop it, Chloe. Because you're the DA, of course. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Clear case of arson. arson. Somebody arson about... That? Any number of reasons. <laughs> Best With everything joking, going on in the world maybe. today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Oh, thanks. Cool. Mamaramba. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Uh, uh, God, I don't want to attack James. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's super true. And also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest okay. ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Angry clock yes, ticking. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. But to each their own, I suppose. Yes. Oh, fucking blow me. Oh my god. Rachel! Ah, crap. I I'm so clumsy. Uh, Rachel, can you come help me find another Stop fork? It. Chloe. Fuck. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite. Okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel, honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. No offense, Mr. Amber. But I think we trust our eyes more than you. That's enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of you. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. Oh, thanks, Mama. Amber. Rachel's gonna let out a primal sp scream. Are you ready? It's gonna smash all the glasses. You know, I don't know what I'm doing, the little mermaid, but. I was gonna blow the candles out as well. Okay. Oh no, she's done the salad bowl. Oh, that's such Why a sturdy bowl. You just tell me the fucking truth. Stop lying. Stop being a politician for one fucking minute. Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was my sister. That was oh, your shit. mother. <laughs> I knew it was going to be something like that. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So I do not hate James. I mean, James is not a great guy. 
whether or not you know whoever that is is still not a nice person just called Chloe a delinquent a broken girl from a broken home Line. Can you read my new book I've written? Oh yeah, it's really good, Damon. Oh, that's not good. That means they die. Most of us are bitter over someone setting fire to our insides for fun to distract our hearts from ever missing her. But I'm forever missing her. I wonder if she's she's threatening him by like revealing that the Rachel is not his wife's child and that's what's going on there she's trying to you know cause issues I don't know I'm not sure we'll have to find out yeah but same with David I don't hate them you don't hate David David is a fucking misogynistic piece of shit does, does anything he does does not forgive that kind of fucking shit. Hmm. Took the blame for Rachel, most people did. You refused to empty your pockets. I'm surprised how many people cooperate with that. You stayed with Mikey. Mm. Look at all these fucking horny people. <laughs> Everyone's, everyone wants to see Rachel and Chloe together. I'm, I'm not surprised that that is higher. I wonder if when you ask her that, that's when she might get the one of the two tattoos she has, right? She has uh, something on her wrist, like a star, and then on her ankle she's got a dragon or something like that. Oh, Sammy said about her being a dragon made of diamonds. Feel nothing but pity. Um, you can still feel pity, but also hate someone. Who is this person? I was thinking Rachel get a tattoo. Interesting. Hmm. Oh wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, okay. You intended to go to the play with Elliot. Yeah, and then we did. A lot of people agreed to start over with David. Yeah, we put the same round. Wait, what? We did pay it off. We gave him the we gave him the money. What? That's wrong. 
That's, that's probably the reason why it's so high. I guess we didn't initially give it to him, but we did give him the money. Because he was like, oh, well, I thought that money you stole would have been good enough. So we did pay it off, so that's kind of weird. Didn't tell Steph that Rachel was single. A lot of people still helping. Wow, a lot of people not returning Drew's money to him after seeing that. Damn. Barely anyone, people saying to avoid Nathan. The problem is it was worded as you should just give up on him, which is not how I'd want to word it. You know, I'm worried about her, given what happens with Nathan. I can't remember if we ever saw a folder called Samantha. Just go to Victoria back to the play. God, look at her like that. I wonder what happens then if 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 she drinks the muscle relaxants. Does that can that happen? What then happens with Rachel? Tell Rachel. Wow, that's just a split there. That's just one in three. Rachel attack James at dinner. You attack James at dinner. Yeah, I. It's not my place to to do that. That's why. What? Why is that a hundred percent? I picked this. This doesn't make any sense. What are these stats? Do these stats not include my own? I'm confused. I'm confused. Okay, cool. Shit. Shit. Ah, that wasn't that wasn't a lot. Well, that's freaking daunting, isn't it? Damn. Episode 3, Hell is Empty. Oh, that's the name of the next episode, not the one we were on. My bad. <laughs>